Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. I'm designer slash gamer. And today we are building Bricksburg. Specifically, we're going to start working on Area 51. Because, I mean, I was going to continue working on the Ninjago District. Because it's here. And it's beautiful. And it's coming along. And we even built this really cool skyscraper in the last episode. But there's been so much talk of aliens and you guys built a lot of really cool models of aliens and stuff alien adjacent so I was like well and I'm working on an area 51 episode for Lego worlds 2 this week so I was like well it just kind of fits it's an area 51 week so we're gonna start building <laughs> what is he doing we're gonna start building area 51 in our beautiful city of Bricksburg so what do you guys think about that? How you guys doing today? Hey everybody, hi guys, what's up? Um, hi. Hi. You guys like it? Cool, all right. Don't get abducted, says Elijah. I will try not to, but no guarantees. So I got my little uh, minifig, Sheila here. She's hanging out with us. She's going to help me instruct. Uh, she's gonna instruct me in the building process. You might see her up here whispering in my ear saying, no, don't do that, yes, do that. And then I have uh, Emmett over here, too. What's up, everybody? Hi. So you guys ready? Don't forget the Natro running people. The what? Do you believe in aliens, says Leanne. No. Not really. Um, I, well, okay, this is what I believe. The universe is big. In fact, there are no boundaries to the universe. So... It's very likely that there are other intelligent life, like us, out there, or not like us. But, oh, I guess I do believe in aliens. But I don't believe in the kind of alien that we, uh, that we think, some people think exist here with the big eyes. But yes, I do believe there is other intelligent life out there. We're not, we can't be the only ones. Come on. How arrogant is that? There's no way. <laughs> so yes, I believe in aliens. <laughs> Okay. Hey, welcome back, Mason. Uh, Hannah says aliens are fake. Yeah, especially this alien. So you guys, we need to find a nice spot far outside of Bricksburg to build Area 51. Now, if you look at pictures of Area 51, the real Area 51, it's a very desert-type area, right? It's in Nevada. It's out in the desert. Lots of sand. There's, you know cliffs and mountains of sand uh it's very a very arid place now bricksburg is just a flat grassy world so we need to find a spot that we could convert into something something that is uh here let me go back to pictures something that looks you know like like that right so we're gonna find a spot we're gonna turn it into a sandy area we're going to put up some fences. We're going to figure out where to lay out some buildings. And then we're going to get some of your awesome builds that you guys submitted uh, built. Now, remember, if you want to submit buildings for Bricksburg, you can. Let me just put the link in here. You can do it on. Where's my link? Uh, on Discord. 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 There's a link right there in the chat. Um, and also, you can download this beautiful city and put it in your game as long as you're playing PC today after the stream. Okay, uh, let's look at some of the cool stuff you guys added. Our friend Gaming Super Tippy made this awesome alien mosaic. That's beautiful. Another, I think he, I think he made another one too, actually. Bricksburg, yeah. Look at this. How cool is that? Alien mosaic art. I think this could go in Ninjago District as well as Area Fifty One because it just looks like it could. And then, of course, a bunch of you have built some beautiful. Other, like Jasper built this awesome building here for, for Ninjago City. But then you guys have also built UFOs. Where's the other one? I just want to show this to you guys really quick before we find a spot. Where is it? That's Ninjago City. There's a UFO somewhere. I mean, a bunch of you guys have built UFOs. Tia's built a UFO. Our friend Moimus built a UFO. Jasper built a UFO. So we're going to try to get all these UFOs into Area 51. They're pretty sweet. Look at that. How cool is that? Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, minimize this. I'm going to check the chat, see if I have any questions, and then let's find a spot. 
you guys. Um, Ryan says Area 51. Why 51? Good question. I have no idea. <laughs> Does anybody know in the chat why it's called Area 51? I don't know. Let's see if anyone got that. DSG, make it far away. Yes, I agree, Beans. We're going to do it really far away. You guys, look, the lights are coming on in Ninjago City. Oh, man, it's so pretty. Let's quick, since it's nighttime, you guys, let's quickly climb to the top of this beautiful skyscraper with our alien friend. And let's check out Ninjago District at night from our brand new giant, beautiful skyscraper. And then we need to figure out where we want to put this Area 51 place. Um, yeah, somewhere outside the city for sure, because we need we need room to expand in Bricksburg, and so we're gonna need we're gonna need some space. So there's no inside of this building yet, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at Ninjago City! Wow, it's so beautiful and huge. Um, it's great. Okay, so where should we do it? Let's look at the overall map. We still haven't gotten quite to the edge of uh, the map. Well, we have over here. So maybe, maybe we go out here somewhere? What do you guys think? I think we go way, way out here. So let's put a little, let's, let's drop in a beacon right there. Did I put a beacon down? I think it's with the left click, right? Yeah, there's a beacon there. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a beacon there. So let's head out toward the beacon and I'm gonna see what you guys are saying in the chat. But you know what we should do? Let's hop down. We should fly a spaceship out there. Let's fly a spaceship because that just seems, it fits, right? Uh, do, we don't have a UFO, right, we, that we can fly around in? We have our friends' UFOs, but we can't fly around in any of these. Um, ship? Spaceship? Spaceship! Um, we'll do this one. Oh wait, no, what am I saying? We need to do the alien strike ship. <laughs> that's definitely more appropriate. Let me rotate that. Okay, well, I guess that's the best direction. Okay. Uh, let's hop in the alien strike ship and then I will check the chat and I will see what you guys are saying. Wow, look at that beautiful view. Um, okay. Put Jasper's UFO. Yes, we're gonna put all of your UFOs in. I'm not sure if Topplenaut's here. Mars was before a water and land planet. Yes, it was, Hannah. This is true. So it doesn't have a... I just sent you a message on Discord. You did, Beans. Um, no, I, don't, I turned off notifications because otherwise they pop up constantly for me. Um, are you going to the raid on September 20th? No, Dan. <laughs> and I would highly recommend you don't go to that raid because you're just going to get arrested. Um, hi, Brandon. My name is Blake, and is Hogwarts still in progress? Hi, Blake. No. We've put a we put a hold on Hogwarts because we have too many things. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Welcome, Modern AK, forty-seven. Um, we have put a hold on that because I we're just working on too many things. But we'll get back to Harry Potter themed builds in the future. Um. Okay, what else did I miss? Do you know, do you want to know something weird you're not watching in full screen? I'm not. Or you're not watching in full screen? Hey Atomic, how's it going? Okay, so my friends, uh, why Mars doesn't have water anymore? Um, because Mars lost its atmosphere. So all the water evaporated from Mars. Fun facts, right? Okay. Let's go up. Oh, man. Okay, but you know, we, before we go out and find where we're going to put Area 51, we, of course, need to fly through Bricksburg. Just really quick. You know we need to. I mean, come on. Wow. And remember, if you download Bricksburg, you can hop in one of these spacecrafts, and you can destroy Bricksburg if you want. I don't recommend that, because it's beautiful. But you're welcome to use the spacecraft and destroy the city because it's your copy. And then of course you can download a new version or whatever <laughs> and fix it. Maybe we'll do that someday. So this is our beautiful Ninjago district. It's amazing, it's bright, it's colorful. We're gonna get back to it soon. Um, I like taking breaks and doing different things so we can keep it interesting. Um, of course you guys remember the original ivory tower which is right there. 
from my LEGO World series. We have this beautiful church right here made by our friend Jasper. Lots of buildings made by you guys. Oh, lots. I don't remember seeing these here. Did I add those recently? Uh, these are made by a friend Tia. We, of course, have the park made by Tia. Uh, the town hall made by Jasper. Um, maybe I'll just try to fly through a little quicker, you guys. Watch previous episodes if you want to see us build these, because we spent a lot of time building these gorgeous buildings. Um, let's fly over here. This is sort of the newer district over here. Um, some European-style buildings. Um, got the suburbs out there. I don't think we need to fly that way. We'll just fly over by Lego Land. Look at the diner waitress on top of the diner building here. <laughs> uh, this is our food district. Now let's fly over to Lego Land really quick, and then we're going to find a spot for Area 51. Did you put in Jasper's Museum? Yes. I think we just flew over it, too. Uh, can I play your map on the console? No, I wish you could, but LEGO Worlds doesn't have cross-play abilities, so you can only play this map if you are on PC, unfortunately. We're getting a little bit of lag here, guys. Let's just let it catch up. Ooh, it's slow. Okay, this is Legoland. You guys know Legoland well. It's pretty sweet. Um, we're going to add to that in the future, too. But we've come a long way in this city, you guys. Okay, so let's find a good spot for Area 51. I did put a, I did put a uh, marker on the other side of the city. But you know what? Maybe we should actually put Area 51 way the heck out here since we're already here. What's over here? Why is there a marker here? Is this the one? I, this isn't the one I placed, right? I say we go kind of all the way, maybe to the corner of the map. Put it way out here, because you know what we could do, you guys. In the corner of the map, we could build a really cool backdrop with uh, cliffs and stuff, and that could be the backdrop for Area Fifty One. So let's get all the way to the corner, and then we're gonna spin the sky, and make it morning time. And we're going to lay out Area 51. Wow, this map is ginormous. We still haven't found the edge yet. Can you guys imagine how big Bricksburg is going to be in a year? Or two years? Or three years? It might take that long, though, to fill up this whole map. We've already we've been building it since January. So what are we, like, say, eight months into the city building? <gasps> okay, we're finally here. Man. All right, alien friend, let's land. Let's go ahead and land. Come on. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the story of Area 51. So, let's hop out of the spacecraft here. So, Area 51 is actually an Air Force facility, right? A testing facility where they test aircraft and and whatever. Secretive, highly secretive place because they're testing aircraft and Air Force things. Well... There was an incident in the 50s where apparently uh, aliens were brought there, but it actually wasn't aliens. It was like a weather balloon or something, whatever. But it's been this source of fascination for people who've thought that they've had aliens there. So that's Area 51. It's a big myth, but it's a fun one. And it actually kind of got people excited about aliens and the possibility of extraterrestrial life and sci-fi and all kinds of cool stuff and I'm sure that Star Trek and these other shows probably were inspired by that so I'm happy that it was a conspiracy <laughs> Andy is Theodore your only pet no I have four pets two cats and two dogs Theodore Luke Lucky and Diesel um Matt, Mr. T says, I have a question. How do you make the map flat? Good question. You can either make a regular map and use the flatten tool to flatten it, or you can create a sandbox world and you create, you only select the super flat biome. Then you get a totally flat map. So you can build whatever you want. Sheila's going to the raid, yeah. She better not. Okay, let's start you guys with painting the ground in a sandy color. So we need a sandy, sandy, sandy color. Limestone, no. Sand. Moon cheese, ew. I didn't even know there was a moon cheese. Uh, <laughs> did you guys know there was a, a moon cheese? 
uh, material. I didn't know that. What about rusty sand? I think I prefer rusty sand. So we're just gonna paint the ground. We're gonna make the brush as big as possible. And we're going to paint the ground. And I kinda wanna do this soft brush though. Cause especially along the edges, we want it to look a little more natural. So we're gonna just paint the ground, a big section of the ground in this color. And then we're gonna add some hills and stuff and try to make the landscape look a little bit interesting. And we'll try to make a transition between the grassy landscape and the the deserty, desert, <laughs> arid landscape. All right. I like using the soft brushes because it just it, then you get a nice little edge to it. Okay, so we need Area 51 to be pretty big. So we're gonna try to come all the way, make a big section here. Maybe we'll come all the way out to like, and we can always make it bigger too, you guys. We're not limited to the size that we initially started at. I just wanna get a nice big area for us to work on. And if you guys have any questions for me, it's easier um, for me to see the questions if you use the at symbol and mention me because then it'll highlight the question for me. Otherwise, some of the questions get lost. But I do my best to answer you guys and I'm sorry if I missed a question and feel free to repeat it if I missed it, if you guys have an important question. Um, please build a Rizzo, but a monster robot one that is in space. A monster robot prison? That'd be cool. I like that idea. You guys always have such great ideas. And remember, the best place to put ideas is either on the website or on Discord. Because we keep track of our building ideas there. Uh, here's a link to the website. Designer slash gamer .com, And then also... Discord, where's Discord? Oh my gosh, we have 30 viewers right now. I'm getting so nervous. So many of you. Let me take this opportunity then to promote my other YouTube channels. <laughs> if you guys like me, then you'll probably like my Nintendo channel. So be sure to check it out. I also have a Sims channel. You can find links to my channels either in the chat or on my about page and channels. Okay. So that's probably good for now, you guys. So let's do this. And remember, if you guys have ideas for the different things we could place, let me know in the chat. But I think I wanna create a cool backdrop. Now maybe, let's put this away. Look at that, look at that beautiful sand. Um, let's try to create a cool backdrop. Carvo says, Brandon, making an episode about Area 51 Raid. Well, hey, Carvo, way ahead of you. I'm actually working on that right now. The next episode of Let's Play LEGO Worlds is all about Area 51, but don't tell anybody. Okay, so where are those cool... Um, there's some... These. Rock mesas. This is what I want to do. I want to put in some rock mesas along the back so we have a nice backdrop here. How close can we get these to the edge? Let me rotate. That's as close as we can get to the edge. Okay, let me turn on, let's turn on, is overlap on? How far, we can go about that far down. So let's create a cool rock wall here. It's as far back as I can go. We're gonna vary it a little bit though. Maybe we'll do one like here. I just wanna create a nice little backdrop. Oh look, there's a little cave in there. Well, that's interesting. Oh, it's because I'm, I have overlap on. Okay, I get it. I wanna turn off overlap then, and let's just put this on the ground because we don't want overlap to be messing the, with the thing. Okay, so let's put this one here. Let's do this one here. Yeah, put that one further back maybe, like this. Try to make, we're trying to make this look like sort of a natural, a natural rock formation. Okay, we're gonna rotate it here. And actually, you know what? Maybe we'll, you know what we should do here? Let's put in some mounds. Let's raise the terrain. And we're gonna put in some mounds. Let's make this really big. Is this gonna be the same? Yeah, it's gonna be the same material. So I'm gonna raise the terrain along the back of here just to give this some variation.
Some of it will make really tall, like this part maybe. Yeah, taller. Um, we got a new follower. That is actually for Twitch though. So yeah, a new follower on Twitch, hey. Yeah, if you guys aren't following me yet on Twitch, you should because we stream every single day on Twitch. So go follow me. We're playing some really fun games over there. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little more of this and then I promise I will check your messages in the chat. We still have a little bit of green here, but that's totally cool because then it gives a little bit of a, it gives us some detail. The other thing you can do too, if you wanna go a little faster, is you can use the add tool. Okay, let's do that. All right, now, now we're gonna put in some more of these, some more of these things, these rocks. Let's go up nice and high here. How high can we get? Oh, well, shoot, I didn't go out far enough. Okay. All right, let me go out a little bit further with the raise and lower tool. There we go, that should be good. It's beautiful. It definitely is looking very Area 51-ish, if you ask me. <laughs> Lots of sand and secretive things about to, about to, about to be built. All right, uh, okay. Now, oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna work well. Hey, wait, actually, can I get a little further? No, I can't get any further. All right, that's fine. Why won't you let me move? Why are you stuck? Well, that's weird. Won't let me move. Why won't you let me move? No. <laughs> okay, here, let's close out the tool. It's glitching out on us a little bit. Look at this. You got plenty of places to hide, you, you little alien. They're never gonna find you. All right, now we can move. Can we move now? Yes, now we can move, okay. Let's drop it down. Maybe we'll do this one a little lower. And let's come to the edge like that. Yeah, perfect. Um, Brandon, what is the breed of Luke? Luke is a Shih Tzu. Nice little fluffy dog. He's a very large Shih Tzu though. Most of them only get like between 12 and 15 pounds. Luke weighs 27 pounds. Not because he's chubby. It's just because he's big. I think he's more Lasso Opso than he is the other. The Shih Tzu is a mix of two breeds. Um, he's a big, he's big. Either that or he has some form of giantism, I'm not sure. But he's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's finish making this rock barrier here. And remember, if you guys have ideas for cool stuff, um, for ways to make me, or to help me uh, build this Area 51, then let me know in the chat. Um, at DSG, will you play LEGO Tower again? Good question. Yes, but we aren't going to be doing a weekly stream anymore of Lego Tower. But I will play it again. I've actually been playing it off camera quite a bit and I visited a bunch of your towers. So I've been playing it off camera, but what I wanna do is get further along in the game and then we'll just have some random live streams of the game in the future, but it won't be a full a full uh, weekly series. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Look at that. What a nice backdrop. It's better than just like, you know, a drop off and nothing. Let's add a few more to this side. I wonder if we should rotate this. Yeah. Give some depth and variation here. Let's do that. Let's rotate it again. Ooh, we can even rotate it that way. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, look at that. I like that. Just want to make it look like it's not copy and paste it even though it is, but no one has to know that, except you guys because you're watching me do it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go right up to the edge. And maybe we'll do this here. I kind of want to add some of that, this direction over here too. Sweet, 
What a perfect backdrop for Area 51. It's looking great. All right, let's go like that, maybe. Maybe now that we don't have the mound anymore here. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. Um, now that we have a nice little backdrop, let's cap this off a little bit. Okay. Now that we have that, we can start to lay out our roads. We gotta put a fence in. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot of work, you guys, but it's gonna be fun. This is awesome. You like it, Elijah? Hmm. And hey, Kenzin. Okay, do I have any questions? DSG, is there is a cave underneath Area 51 in this game. Could you make a secret entrance to the cave and have some alien stuff in there? Absolutely, I love that idea. I do want to build some secretive stuff in here. So we'll have like some warehouses and some roads and fences, but I think it'd be cool, like you guys are saying, to build a secret underground area too. So we'll see how much we can get done in this episode. Let me go ahead and spin the sky. Let's spin the sky. Um, and then it's just easier to work in the morning time. Let's spin the sky. And let's see what we should do next. I don't want to put any fences up yet because I feel like we're still going to be expanding, you know, out that way a little bit. But what we could do is put in some roads. Now, um, let's look at the, where's the map of Area 51? Do I still have it? Area 51. This is the aerial. Um... So I was thinking it might be cool to use dirt roads. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. Maybe it just makes more sense to use regular roads. Um, so let's look at our road plates. Let's look at our road plates. Do you guys think we should use the uh, moon? The space plates? Definitely not the monster plates, right? And... I guess not the dirt roads. That's kind of old school. We use these in Bricksburg, but I think it might be cool to use the moon ones. What do you guys think? What if you gave Area 51 more of an agent's theme? Well, I don't want to spoil anything, but that is kind of the theme for Area 51 in uh, Ivory City. So, we could do that here in Bricksburg. I don't know. Because it's already going to be themed that way in uh, Ivory City. So, let me think about that. Moon ones look good, yeah? Just change the color. Change the color? That's an interesting idea. You think I should paint them? Um, what color would you paint them? Let's put some of these in. Okay, so where would our entrance be? Maybe our entrance is over here somewhere, right? Let's get some of these placed. We're going to go this direction. Let's put some this way. Is that? No, that's not the same. Okay, then maybe we'll have it turn now this way. So how about, ooh, wait, do I want one of these? Sure. Let's do one of these plates here. We're gonna try and lay out this, uh, the area, <laughs> pun intended. Um, and then let's have it curve maybe this way. Or maybe that's too close. Let's undo one of those. And then we'll have it curve this way. Okay, then let's have it come this way. And maybe we'll have it split off again. Like that. Sure, why not? Okay. Then it'll come this way. And of course, we can always change this, you guys, depending on what we end up placing in here. I just want to have to get some, get some roads down so we can start building. 
Um, Area 51, boys! Hey, Bass, how's it going? So what color do you think I should paint it? Brown? So the sides are sandy. Um, won't that paint the whole thing, though? Brown. What happens if you... Hmm. Can you paint these? I know you can paint other road plates, so why wouldn't I be able to paint these? That's dark orange, brown. That's odd. Can you not paint these road plates? I don't know. Hey, Leo, how's it going? Um, I'm not sure if you can paint these. I know you can paint other road plates, but I'm not... Maybe you can't paint the moon ones. Do... Are there any... Are there any factory... Like, there's a warehouse. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking of. A warehouse. There's no warehouses in the game, is there? Are there any where... Could you guys think of any warehouse-type buildings? Because what I'd like to do is at least place a couple of warehouses and then I want to get I want to get these UFOs that you guys have made added but we need something that we can place fairly quickly or any building that looks kind of like it could be a warehouse oh these are cool are those the moon oh those are the moon ones right weren't these made by our friend um oh wait are those just I can't remember if those are just part of the let's undo that can't undo that there we go. Um, those are showcase builds, I think, right? Okay, we just need to figure out a warehouse situation. Let's do a bonus question at the end of the stream. Um, yeah. Modify them to be a warehouse. Modify what? Oh, barns. Oh, that's an interesting idea. See how smart you guys are? Barn. Won't they look too barney? Oh, no, I think you're right. I think that could be modified. That one's too barney. Oh, but it's cool. If it had like a, if it had a metal roof. Now that is a good idea. I like this one better than the other one. Let's see what it's like. Let's try Let's try doing that. I like that idea. Let's modify one of these to be more of a cool, here, wait, that's going to be the road. Let's drop one down in... Here, let's put one back here. There's plenty of space. We'll drop one in here. Where's the front door? I guess that's kind of the front door. That's the side. We can make a little entrance for it. Let's try this. I'm intrigued by this idea. Does that touch the ground? Yes. Okay, so what if we did this? Now, we can't use our replace tool, but we can use the paint tool, and we could paint the roof... Let's do the square brush color. Um, I think I want just a hard brush, though. And we can paint the roof like uh, metallic. Metallic. Like that. But I want it really shiny, I think. What's the, what's the shiniest metallic we have? Platinum metallic? <gasps> That's shiny. Heck yeah. Okay. Let's give this a try. And maybe we'll paint the accents red or something. I think that would look cool. Oh yeah, look at that shiny, shininess. Or should we paint the accents blue? You guys decide, red or blue? What do you think would look better? And then of course we're gonna take out all that wheat and maybe we'll put some cool uh, computer equipment or something in there. And we'll have to put a door on it too. <gasps> you know what we could do, you guys? We could put a UFO. We could put a UFO in here. I think that would be awesome. Wow, this is really cool with the metallic roof. All right, as soon as I'm done painting the roof, I promise I will check the chat. I'm not ignoring you guys. <laughs> I just would like to get a couple of things built here. But I'll check the chat. Now, 
let me know in the chat what your ideas are for this barn in particular. How you think we could make it look like it fits in area 51. All right. Oh man, this is so cool. I wish they would fix the replace tool, you guys. I know I've said that before, but it'd be so nice if I could just use the replace tool on this building, but it doesn't work properly. Okay. Can you guys hear the music okay? Ooh! Because it seems like it's kind of quiet to me. Okay, let me check the chat. It's been too long. You guys think blue would look nice? Is Tia here? I don't see Tia. She's usually here for our Bricksburg streams, but I don't see her. Blue, gray. Okay, it looks like more of the... Uh, Elijah says, I love you. I love you guys, too. <laughs> Manu says, Samsung is better than Apple. No, it's not. <laughs> nah, I mean, they're both just as good. It's really just a... It's really just a preference for what you prefer for your operating system. I don't like the Android operating system. Don't get mad at me, Google, because you own YouTube. But I don't really like the Android operating system. It's just kind of clunky and fragmented, and every device maker changes it and puts bloatware on it, and it just, I don't like it. That's why I like iOS, because it's easy to use, and it's, it's the same no matter what iOS device you're on. It's a consistent experience, so. All right, let's get the rest of this barn roof painted and then let's get the accents done. And uh, it's gonna look awesome. What color do you guys think we should paint the main structure? Do you think it should be gray or black? Oh, maybe not black, maybe black is too, uh, too bold of a shade for the building. Okay, cool. That roof looks great. Um, it's already nighttime again, dang it, Max. Or, Alien Max, let's spin this guy. Make it morning time. There we go, okay. Let's hop up on this roof and let's paint those accent Oh wait, we gotta paint that part of the roof too. Let's paint this part of the roof too, you guys. Here we go. I could make my brush bigger, why don't I do that? That will save a little bit of time. Is that too big? Just want to make sure you don't overpaint when your brush is large, but that is perfect. Yeah. Okay, is there one on the back side? Nope. Okay, cool. So now, now let's paint the accent. So let's, I guess we'll do bright blue. Whoops. Redo. Okay, let's make this nice and small because the accents are kind of small. Ooh, let's do this, these here. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we gotta definitely have to paint the main part of the barn too. Oh, dang it. Dang it, too much, okay. I wish the blue didn't splatter like that because you can't really see where you're painting with all those splatters. All right, so now we're gonna paint the edges. Yeah, that's cool. That looks very alien-ish. We just have to paint the main part of the barn because that still looks kind of kind of rural. So, funny story, my dad is actually from Roswell, New Mexico, which is another like alien type conspiracy place. <laughs> Uh, so I guess alien conspiracies sort of run in my DNA, or at least locations of, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, okay, let's paint the sides here. And then what did you guys say for the main part of the building? What do you think? What do you think? It should be, you love the metal roof, yeah, hello there? Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's so shiny. Okay, and then maybe you know what we should do, you guys? I can actually use the replace tool for this one. The beams. Let's do those in like, what if we do, mm, mm, a two-tone color. One color on the main part of the 
building and another color on the other part of the building. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? And the nice thing about this is we can actually copy this facility, right? Once we're done with these accent colors and all, all the colors, we can copy this facility and we can drop it down. Copy and place more of them. You're the best. Thanks, John. Paint it red or dark red. Yes, I know it's a normal color, but I think it would look cool. Do you think the whole building red? Won't that be really, really red? <laughs> It seems like it should be kind of military looking, but I don't know what that is because we have a metal roof. What about, what about, what about this color? Kind of like a bunker looking military style. What do you guys think about that? I mean, we could paint some of them different color, some of the buildings, and, you know, we could even do a red one. But it just seems like it needs to be maybe gray and dark gray. This is a hard decision. I don't know. Metallic blue? That looks kind of military, but I don't want it to clash with the roof. Oh, this is difficult. What if we do the... What if we do these in dark gray? I kind of like this. Just looks very military to me with these, with this color. I don't know. What do you guys think? Looks good. Yeah. Why do you like this Stardew Valley? How do you like Stardew Valley? I love Stardew Valley. We're actually bringing that series back to my Nintendo channel. You think we should paint it black? Won't oh, black be too too dark, though? Ooh, titanium metallic. Um, oh, that's so dark. I mean, I guess that could be okay, but... We could do the main part of the building in black, and then the accents could be gray. Do you guys like it in black? Well, that way, that would be gray. So if we do it this way, or we do it the other way around, it's either the main part is black and the accents are gray, or the main part is gray and the accents are black. It does look kind of cool. And we do like medium stone gray on the accents. So that's one, that's one option, you guys. What do you think about that with the black and the light gray? DSG, can you please do a bonus question? Lego Worlds related, please. I've never won any studs. Oh, <laughs> you haven't? Um, yes. We'll do one at the end of the stream and I will do a Lego Worlds related bonus question. You guys like it? Black and blue and silver. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of, I kind of like it. Okay, you guys win. So we're gonna do black. We can't use the replace tool because the shape of these bricks. But we're gonna go ahead and paint these black. Maybe I can make my brush bigger though. Can I make it just big enough to cover the... <gasps> no, that's too big. Can I make it? Yeah. Hey, that's gonna work. That's gonna work brilliantly. Okay, let's paint this building. Well, first we'll paint the black part of the building and then we'll move on to the uh, or the gray part oh no that's not gonna work it's too big there okay let's paint this part oh no okay we'll just do those let's make it a little smaller and like I said if these were like totally flat bricks we could use the replace tool but these aren't flat bricks they're not flat <laughs> so we can't use we can't use the replace tool but that's okay because this is going pretty quick no don't paint the roof oh I already oh okay well we can fix that later let's just get this painted okay 
Make the brush a little smaller, I guess. There we go. Okay, and then the next step after we get the whole building painted is to remove all this silly hay and try to put in um, and put in some like computer equipment or things that would be more appropriate for Area 51. Okay, let's get in here. Actually, I might have to, well, we'll have to paint that once we remove the hay. Okay, let's get up in here. Make sure we get this. Did we paint anything we didn't want to? Nope, perfect, all right. Ah, no. Okay. Yes, beautiful. I love it. Um, let's paint the accent now. So that's gonna be the medium stone gray, okay. I'll have to do this one brick at a time though. All right. It looks brown, doesn't it? I guess it's just the time of day. Sometimes the colors you paint reflect the surroundings. So it could look a little brown just because everything around here is brown. That's the ambient occlusion part of the game. Okay, I promise I will check the chat in a second. I just wanna make some good progress on Area 51. All right. Look at the alien friend in there. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, there we go. That looks good, you guys. I like that. Looks really nice. Okay, so let's get, let's get this part. We're gonna have to add a door to this too, you guys. Let's get it painted though. Okay, so let me check the chat. That looks cool, you guys like it? Um, Desert Gainer, I'm downloading my character, Jack's home, the Xander Tower, so you can place it in Ivory City. Sweet. Okay. What about the other side? Yeah, I'm gonna work on that right now. 30 likes, heck yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. If you're liking the video, it really helps my channel if you hit like. YouTube sees that and YouTube's like, oh, people like the video, so maybe we'll show it to other people and then our community grows. That's why we've grown so quickly because you guys have left so many likes on the videos. So YouTube has been suggesting them to a lot of people, so our community is getting bigger and bigger. And it's great. The more the merrier. It's cool. It's just cool there's so many people out there that still that still play Lego Worlds. Even though it was actually technically released in 2015 as an early access game. So the game is a good Good solid four years old now. All right, did I paint the inside? Oh, it's okay. I can't wait till we get a UFO inside the in the interior here. As soon as we're done painting, we're gonna remove those props and we're gonna stick a sweet UFO in there. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Could use a larger brush, but meh, meh. All right. So tell me, do you guys believe in aliens? Let me know in the chat. And if you do believe in aliens, what do you think they look like? Do you think they look like us? Or do you think they're green, like Martians? Or are they like gray with big eyes? What do they look like? All right, let's paint this side. Dun -dun -dun -dum, dun -dun -dum. Heck yeah, I'm really glad we did black. This looks really neat. We need to get some lights in there too. We gotta light it up. I like these windows, these are cool. This dormer, they call this a uh, 
think that's called a dormer. The way it sticks out like that. Okay. Okay, let me just finish painting the side here and then I'll check the chat, I promise. Okay, now I just have to do this part. Da -na -na. So we're gonna work on Area 51 next week as well. Hopefully we'll get it pretty far along and then the following week we'll probably go back to Ninjago City. Or if we're having a really good time with Area 51, we might even stay a little bit longer. Okay, sweet, okay, let me check the chat. Um, technically we are aliens. Yeah, that's true. We'd be aliens to anybody else. I agree with Atomic. It's all about perspective. Yes. DSG, why don't you make the gray shiny silver as well? That's not a bad idea. That might make it look a little nicer. Here, let's pick the platinum metallic. Yeah, good idea. Good call. All right, so let's do that. And then, uh, yeah, that makes them, makes them pop a little better, doesn't it? They look a little bit nicer. And yeah, when we, when we get some lights on here and we light this thing up, that's going to look even better. Let's, oh, let's paint those, that color. Okay. And we'll have to continue painting the rest of that after we remove the, uh, haystacks there. Yeah, that, that looks much better. Good call. I like that. It's very Area 51-ish. Okay. So I know you guys are fans of LEGO Worlds because you're here. But you know what other game you'd really like? Dragon Quest Builders 2. And I'm playing it right now on the Nintendo channel and also Twitch. So check out the series. I think you guys would really like it because we can do a lot of cool stuff in that game. We can do a lot of building. And there's a lot of cool missions and things to discover and it's a really cool adventure type game. So you should check out that series. I think you guys would really like it. Especially right now we're kind of going through the tutorials and learning how the game works. But in the future we're gonna be building a massive city in that game. And I think you guys would really like it. All right. Yeah, that looks great. We're gonna have to fix some of this. There's some missing stuff here, and we need to put a door, a door on it. But let me get this painted, and then, uh, and then I'll check the chat. And let me know what kind of door you guys think we should put there. Maybe like a garage door or something, right? That looks so good. Oh, I have to paint the back too. Just ignore the back for now. <laughs> Just ignore the back for now, and let's get this front done. Ah, no. Those look really cool when you paint them silver, though, don't they? Look at that. Oh, maybe we should paint some of those silver, just because they really stand out. Right? What if we did... Here, let me finish these. I want to paint that silver, too. That'll look neat. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Heck yeah. See, like, what if we did one row? Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh, man, that's cool. But not like that. Yeah, ha, like that. Ooh, that looks really cool. Um, okay, okay, I'll check the chat. What are you guys saying? Brandon, which is your favorite dragon? What's my favorite dragon? The gold dragon. Um, I'm gonna play Lego World, says Logan. Bye. All right, Logan, have fun. Dragon Quest Builders 2, yes, yeah, says Kenzen. Um, M MN, you already built one. What did you already build? Did you build an Area 51? 
DSG, I'm going to go. Bye. Okay, Leo, thanks for joining. DSG, fix the holes. Yes. Let's fix the holes, because those look weird. There definitely wouldn't be any holes in uh, the Area 51. So, I like this, you guys. Let's just go all the way up the side with that. Because that looks really neat. Um, let's go up this way, too. Let's get that hole so it goes all the way up to the roof. That looks really cool. Yeah, that's cool. <gasps> wow, okay, let me get this part. Okay, and then let's fix, let's fix the holes. The inside's gonna be fun too. That's cool with the, with the wrap, with the rafters. Um, let's remove the, let's remove the wheat, you guys. Let's get all this wheat out of here. The best play way is to probably use the remove tool, right? I think. Wait, we don't want to. We don't want to do that one. Okay. Let's delicately remove all of this wheat because this used to be a barn, but it's not a barn anymore. It's now a secret testing facility where there may or may not be aliens. Oops. Don't want to get rid of the floor. Of course, we are going to change the floor. Let me zoom in closer here. We'll keep that ladder for now because I'm not really sure what I want to do with that. -na 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 okay. Did I say wheat? I guess this is more hay than wheat. <laughs> okay. Is that is there anything else up in the rafters? We can get rid of that furniture later. Let's get rid of the rest of this hay. Finish painting the exterior, and we're gonna fix all the holes, and we're gonna get some alien, an alien craft thing in there. Okay, let's get black. Now let's paint the rest of this black. What kind of door did, did someone say? What kind of door in the chat? I think here's my idea. I think we should do the like a garage door on the front. What do you guys think about that? Let's see. Let me see. Here's my idea. Where are the doors? No, doors. Doors. Um, oh, there's so many options. Okay, I'll check the chat. Can you play LEGO Worlds online with other people? If so, how many people can join? Bebo, yes, you can do that. I think up to three people. It's either two or three. So if you guys want to do three people, I've always thought about if you're a builder and you've done a lot of building and you want to help out during a Bricksburg stream, if that's something you guys would want to do, then maybe we could uh, figure out some system for that. This is a small door. We could figure out some system for that. That's too small. Cause that'd be cool to have someone here helping out. Gotta say. I mean, you guys already help out because you contribute models. Most of Bricksburg is from you guys. But it'd be kind of cool to have other people here in the stream. It's kind of futuristic, yeah? Perfect. Use the barn doors, bank door, okay. Um, Emin says, I have a big question for you, Designer Sauce Gamer. What is your favorite Lego character in Lego Worlds? Well, I think we all know the answer to that, don't we? Sheila. <laughs> She's my favorite. Um, what about the garage? Do you guys think this garage door? What do the barn doors look like? Capture gate. That's, that wouldn't work. Where are the barn doors? Boarded. 
old bank the barn doors yeah that's not bad okay I'm gonna let you guys decide would you prefer the barn door let me try that on here how's that gonna is that gonna fit yeah would you prefer the barn door let's see what it looks like when it's open or would you prefer um oh look at those too small uh what was the other one ah, garage door we'll have to build a little shape around it for it to work here i mean we'll have to build some add some bricks to the sides but it's either the barn door or the garage door so you guys decide there's the garage door and of course we would build bricks on the side barn door or garage door you guys pick both <laughs> do you see my favorite color is white my creature is snow dragon and my character is vampire my vehicle is vampire Purse. Sweet. That sounds awesome. Okay, you guys like the barn door. Looks like I have more votes for the barn door so far. One for the garage. I think the barn door, since the garage door looks a little out of place. Okay. All right, so you guys are all saying barn? Final answer, barn. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's do the barn door. Let's undo. Let's undo that. Zzz, done. Barn door. Barn door. Where did you go, my barn door? Where are you? Why can't I find you? I just found you. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Ooh, no. We don't want it backwards, right? No, we don't want it. I don't know why I said that. Um, okay, so let's get down. Yeah, this was meant to have a barn door. I don't know why there's no door on it. The game's like, put in your own door. It's fine. Okay, let's fix the let's fix the building. We need bricks. Uh, we need palisade brick in black. Okay. Hope it doesn't break our door. Sometimes it's weird. You place a brick somewhere near somewhere near a door and it breaks it. I don't know why that's the case. It's kind of weird. Okay. Alright, we'll just go up and we'll just fix wherever we're missing. Don't break the door. Good. Didn't break the door. Okay. Where else are we missing some bricks? Man, this is a cool building. I can't wait to get a, a UFO in there. We need to figure out that window too, you guys. Because we can't have open windows. It's not secretive enough. Okay, those are all fixed. Let's fix these. Alright, then we'll go down here and fix this. And just this one. And if there's time at the end of the stream, we'll paint the back of the barn. I might do that off camera, though, to avoid, um, just so we can build more. Because I'd, I'd like to do more than just this one building in the stream. <sighs> building does take a long time in LEGO Worlds, as you guys well know. <laughs> if you do any building, you know it takes a long time. Especially when you want to do highly detailed stuff. So there's only so much we can do in a stream. All right. Um, cool. What about up here? Oh, that's weird. Okay, can't really fix that. Okay, let's put a UFO in there. But you know what, before we do, you guys, let's take out the, whoa. Let's take out the um, stuff. Hang on. The props that are in here, because these don't really fit. Any other props? Yeah, there's some barrels back there. Those kind of fit, actually, but let's take those out anyway. 
All right. Um, and maybe we get rid of this loft area too. Nah, let's leave it for now. Oh, let's do a barn door on the back side. Actually, let's put our UFO in first. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. Okay, so several of you guys have made UFOs. So we're gonna try and incorporate all of these UFOs, but we can only put one in here. So I don't know which one we do. We Why am I zoomed all the way in? We either, oh, game, let me zoom out. Okay, so you guys decide. Oh, that's too big. I guess that's gonna make the decision for us, huh? <laughs> We need a smaller one. These are too big. <gasps> Tia's is the perfect size. Okay, I guess we're putting the we're putting Tia's UFO in here. We're gonna have to put it under the ground though. Can't go down. Well, we'll have to put part of it under the ground. We could put another one in somewhere else, but this is the only UFO that's gonna fit in here. Okay, let me make sure it's centered in the room. There's not a lot of space to walk around it, but that's okay. As long as it fits in here. Let's put it like right there. Oh wait, that's too close to the stairs. Okay. That should be better. Yeah. Okay. Is there a cow? Did you guys hear the cow? Is there a cow inside Tia's UFO? That is too funny. <laughs> So one of the conspiracy theories is that aliens abduct cows. So I think that's really funny that there's a cow in there. <laughs> that's hilarious. I like that. Okay, we need some computers. And we need another, another door. Maybe we put the computers up in the loft so that they can be up here studying the UFO, looking down. I like that idea. Oh, we need a window though, you guys. We need a window. What window should we put there? It needs to be kind of modern. Can I just do the bank? That won't fit. You know what we could do? We could just do the little one by one windows and stack them. Unless that's gonna, no, that wouldn't work. Or my little one by one window. Ooh. Now that would look weird. Drive in window. What window do you guys think I should use? Samurai computers, yes, I agree. Let's do that. DSG, we can pretend the roof opens split to the side to have the UFO get out. I like that idea. <laughs> Although I bet they don't want the UFO to escape, right? Narrow station window, no, that doesn't work. I think we'll just put in the one, the tiny, the tiny windows, because then we can stack them. Those, tiny white window. Is white gonna look weird? No, white's gonna look fine. I guess I would prefer black, but there isn't a tiny black window, is there? Okay, let's see how this looks. It almost fills the space perfectly. We'll just have to put a, a brick up there. Um, oh wait though, hang on. Can I get it inside the frame? Will that even fit? Yes! Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Let's try that. Oh, we're gonna have a space at the top. That's okay. Why is one, that's weird. One of them is like further back. Is that rotated somehow? Why would they be different? What? That's gonna bug me. Hair. Okay, that seems like that works. What if we do this? What if we do something else in the middle? You know, is there a middle? Oh, it's not gonna be even. I 
That's okay, let's do this. <laughs> you guys know how much I need to have things like even. It's just kind of a weird thing. Um, let's do that. It's not the most even thing ever, but it's even enough to not bug me. And then let's do the one by one tile in transparent clear. Don't break my windows, please. Don't break my windows. Don't break my windows. Yeah, you didn't break my windows. Thank you so much for not breaking my windows. Okay. We need some lights in here too, you guys. It's too dark. And we need computers. That's cool. Ooh, look at that. What do you guys think? I love it so much. Um, let's build a ledge. Let's do some detail work. I'm in a detail mood. Not glass though, isn't that weird to do glass ledge? That's weird, right? That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, I know. Um, blue. And I promise to check the chat in a second, you guys, I promise. Oh, hey, look at that. Sweet. I love this alien facility. Yeah, that is weird, it's a weird glitch. Make a gas station next. You want me to make a gas station in Area 51? I guess we do need gas here. Uh, we need another window here and another barn door. Or something different there. And then we need light, so let's, let's focus on that. So let's do the same window here. Wait, why did you do that? Window. Why aren't you getting the right? That's not a one by two brick. Glitch. Glitch face. That's a glitch. That's a weird glitch. Uh, where is that silly white window? That's not it. Uh, there we go. For light, I saw an idea from Atomic that looked really cool. Make a room of solid white glow walls, making an infinity room with no perspective. Make a room of solid white glow walls, making an infinity room with no perspective. That is a good idea. You don't mean to light this though, you just mean in general? To light something? Um, is that the same size as this window? So wouldn't we go like this? I think it's a little different, but that's fine. Wait. Yeah. Oh wait, no, because we wanna it's the same. So we wanna start at the bottom then. Just wanna make sure it's consistent, you guys. So we'll start at the bottom. Yeah. There we go. Dun, 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 na, 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 na. Yeah, that looks great. I'm loving it. All right, let's get in the little, these plates. In. Transparent clear, all right. And I don't even mind seeing the studs. I kind of like the way the studs look in there. Gives it some added detail and texture. Yeah. Okay, let's do another window sill in blue, just like the other side. Okay. That is so cool. Um, DSG, how about fuel tanks instead, like for military jets and helicopters, as well as some for cars? I like that idea. Has the LEGO Worlds related bonus question been said? Not yet. We're going to do it at the very end of the stream. So we're going to go for an hour and a half today. So another 15 minutes. So in about 15 minutes, we'll do a bonus question. Okay. Um, let's put some lights on here on the outside. Light, where are my lights? What's happening, you guys hear that sound? <laughs> it sounds like 
our little alien character is falling endlessly through the sky. <gasps> There's so many cool things we can do in area. Even the, I think even the monster vats would make sense in area 51. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. This doesn't really help light up our building, but I think it will look cool though. Okay, why can't I move? Why, why is this being weird? Oh man, you guys, glitch. I can't move around because he's like falling through the air. Where are you? What's happening to you? <laughs> okay, that was so weird. Let's go back to the building. Okay, now we can move around. Yay, okay. Where should we put these blue lights? Maybe on the roof? Yeah. Oh, we can't put them in the middle. That's okay, we'll do two. We'll do two, and let's drop them down inside so they're kind of hidden, like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's do another one on this side. Heck yes, that's cool. Okay, now we need some like big lights that shine down. Roof light? The thing I don't like about these is the sound. It's really loud. Space light. These are really bright, these lights, and they go on at night, which is pretty cool. Maybe we should do some of these. Because we can hide them. Let's hide a couple of these under here. I just really like, I really like the lights that turn on at night and the ones you can hide. So maybe we'll do, let's do one here, one there, and then we'll put them. This will look really cool at night. Yeah. That'll be pretty bright too. Might even be too bright, we'll find out. Let's do a couple on the inside too here. Let's put them up here. Now a good way to light your spaces with a lot of light is to use a road plate and then paint it in a, in a glow color. Sometimes I like doing that, other times I feel like it's just way too bright and it just looks kind of weird. So I don't always do that to light spaces, but sometimes you just need a space to be really bright. Okay, so we'll do, let's do, that might be enough actually for that section. These are pretty bright. Let's do some on this side too. I remember where they were. Are they along the back? Like that ish. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, one of you guys mentioned fuel tanks. Let's put some of those down. I like that idea. Fuel. You mean the fuel pumps? Do you think that we put those outside? I need a plan for this little area down here. That looks kind of cool though. It's the right color. What are you guys saying in the chat? May the fourth be with you. Yes. Star Wars. Hi, am I too late, Miguel? Um, yeah, kind of. We're going to stream for 10 more minutes, but you can always rewatch it. You like that? The light isn't centered? Oh, man, it isn't? Okay. Well, let's, uh, I'll fix that off camera, I think. Yeah, these look good. They are very theme appropriate. That's centered. Let's do one of those on either side. And then what else do you guys think we could do for props? That looks so cool. So we could copy a bunch of these and maybe some could be different colors. Wait, I definitely want to place, you You guys made some really cool, I don't know, This is this gonna look, what is it? Where is that? Alien. Are these gonna look cool and uh, weird in here, or should these be in? Uh, I wonder if these should be in in uh, Ninjago City. Will they? Will it look weird out here? <laughs> it 
It's a really cool mosaic, but I wonder if it's just gonna look kind of silly out here. But then again, what's wrong with silly, right? Is that centered? <laughs> Actually, maybe it would face the other way. It's really cool. This might be better for Ninjago City, though. I don't know. But it, it does fit the theme. Maybe it's on the front. I mean, look at that. It just fits perfectly right here. So this is made by our friend Gaming Super Tippy. You can find a link to his channel in the chat. Oh, it doesn't exactly center, but that's okay. You can find a link to his channel in the chat. Is it silly? <sighs> hey, noob meme, how's it going? I wish I had the DLC on PC, says hello there. Yeah, I hear ya. Brand of the LEGO Worlds 2 video was fake. What? Yes, it was fake. I made that video for, uh, for April Fools. And I was hoping it would be very obvious <laughs> that it was an April Fools joke. And in fact, I even said that, but some people actually got mad. I'm like, I'm sorry, it was meant to be funny, but I left it up anyway. <laughs> All right, let's rotate. Let's do some more roads in here. You guys tell me what you feel about what you think about the alien. Maybe this is going to this road will run into that road. I don't know. I want some more roads. Can you guys think of any other buildings we could put down that would fit the theme? Wait, I probably should do this road here. Right? Yeah. Can you think of any other showcase buildings that would fit this theme that we can plop down in here before we end the stream? And yes or no on the alien. Should this go in Ninjago City? Or should we keep the alien here? It's kind of cool. I mean, it is theme appropriate, right? Cool boy rock guitar says, "Way why lie to your fans? I'm sorry. I mean, it wasn't really a lie. It was just sort of an April Fool's joke. And I did say in the video, this is not real. But what I was really hoping was that the video would get so many likes and so many views that TT Games or Lego would see it and they'd be like, oh, there's a lot of interest. I mean, that really was kind of my hope because I would love to see a Lego Worlds 2. I really would. I think it'd be awesome. And I was hoping that maybe if they saw, oh, tons of people are watching this and liking it, so then we'll make, you know, maybe we need to start on Lego Worlds 2, but... It is what it is. Um, warehouse would be good building. Yes. Top Nut says, One of the biggest things I ever built in early days of LDD was Area 51. Sadly, the file was corrupted, and I have never been able to open it for years. Oh, so Top Nut also has a YouTube channel, and he does LEGO Worlds-related content, so be sure to check out his channel, by the way. There's a link in the description. But also, it sounds like he built Area 51 in LEGO Digital Designer, and it's too bad that's... It's kind of a sad story, Topple Knot. You brought down the mood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's too bad. You'll have to rebuild it. In LEGO Worlds. I think you should. <laughs> okay, Paris says, wow, I made it. You made it to the stream! Cool boy rock says now I understand. Yeah, I wasn't trying to mess with you guys or lie to you. I just, I really, really want Lego Worlds 2 to happen. So maybe, maybe it'll happen someday. Okay, you guys, let's try and get another building in here at least. Because we're making some good progress on Area 51. But we need, we need something else in here. But what? What? And then we'll do a bonus question. <gasps> you know, these, these kind of... Oh, you guys... Maybe we'll change the color of these, but look at this. I mean, that is so Area 51, and we have a, the perfect, I didn't do that on purpose at all, the perfect little spot for it, right here. We can give it a little, you know, some fences and whatever, but that is perfect. Look at that. Could that be any more perfect? No, the only way it could be more perfect is if we painted the stripes in a more appropriate color, like bright blue. 
Ooh, but I like the way those look with the orange. Nah, let's paint it. We could do a lighter blue. Or black. Oh, let's do black in the middle. Here, let's just paint them blue first. Oh, okay. Let's, yeah. So let's do. Let. What if we? Oh my gosh, I'm all over the place. Black. Yeah. Oh no. No 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 no. There we go. Yeah. What do you guys think? I love it. Heck yeah. Sometimes, I've told you guys this before, but it bears repeating. Sometimes I just like to scroll through the models in the game and just look for ideas. I'm like, oh look, that could be perfect. You know, oh gosh. Hey, we should leave it orange and blue so we can make it Broncos colors. <laughs> okay, hope they're gonna do good this year. Um, yeah. Perfect, right guys? Um, Dustberry game. Yes, we are building Area 51. What building even is this? I've never seen it before. You're talking about this one? That is the Field Laboratory. Or do you mean the... If you're talking about that one, that's actually a barn that we converted. The barn we converted into an alien facility, and we put Tia's awesome uh, UFO in there. Can you guys think of any other buildings that we could put in here? You know the water tower? It looks kind of area. No, what am I saying? It's like desert, but it's not. Wait, how do I get rid of that? It's it's like a desert thing, but it's not really <gasps> Jewel Thief's Hideaway. You know, containers would make a lot of sense here, you guys. I don't know if this will make a lot of sense. Let's see what this looks like. I, this may not work. Let me just see. I'm just curious. Let me place it. Uh, No, that's not quite right. I do like the idea of getting some containers in here, though. You know? Um... Okay, we only got a couple more minutes to stream, so... Oh, this could be cool. The communications tower in a different color is kind of perfect. In blue. Let's paint that really quick. I don't know if I want it right there, but... Yeah, that's a weird spot. Why did I put it right there? That's weird. <laughs> Wait, you know where we could put it? Up on there. Can I put it up there? Can it go up here? Like back here? In the backdrop? Heck yes, it can. Um, sort of. We'll just pretend that that is on something. Ooh, that's cool. All right, let's paint it. And this is one of those cases where I can use the, the replace tool, you guys. Where's the replace tool? Replace. So we're gonna replace this color with bright blue. Yes. Oh, it doesn't really work though, does it? No. Doesn't work, just kidding. I got all excited for nothing. Doesn't work. It thinks the whole thing is one material. Kinda glitched. That's okay though, this is actually really kind of easy. There we go. You guys, Area 51 is so cool. I can't wait to keep working on it next week. All right. Okay. Let's get these. And then I'm going to check the chat. We're going to do a bonus question, and then we're going to end the stream. And remember to come over to the Nintendo channel later on, because we're playing a classic Nintendo game today. Which one, you ask? I actually don't know yet. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. Here, you know what we need to do? I can't have that be floating like that. I just can't do it. So let's fix that floating silliness back here. It's just too weird to be floating like that. Ooh, a bandit's hideout. No, that's weird. What am I saying? Um, where's the rock? The, 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 this thing. Where is that? 
Where? There it is. Rock Mesa. Okay. Oh, can I not do it? No, let me move. Oh, you're not going to let me move, are you? Glitch. Okay, let's put this away. Get it back out. And then do the Rock Mesa. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now you're going to let me move. Yay! Okay. Okay, we can put it right back here. Like that. Perfect. Okay, now it's not floating. Let's take a look at Area 51. Did the lights come on? They did. Oh, yes. Look at those yellow lights. That looks cool, you guys. And the inside's all lit up. We got the... We got the sweet UFO here from our friend Tia with the cow in there who's sleeping. Nice bright room. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna get some more computers in there next time. We just ran out of time. Do some more detail. Uh, let's go into build mode so we can see this better. There we go. I like going into build mode sometimes because you can really sort of easily get around and see your... Okay, then we have the sweet little alien barn here with our friend uh, Gaming Super Tippy's awesome mosaic, a communications tower, and a field laboratory thing right here. It's looking pretty sweet so far. Of course, we have a lot to add to it, but we're gonna do that. Okay, bonus question from LEGO Worlds. <sighs> All right, let me think about this. Bonus question from LEGO Worlds. Um. Okay, you guys, get ready. This is going to be an easy one. Get ready with your keyboard. For 1,000 studs, in Ivory City, what was the building that we built right after the Ivory Tower? Go. 1,000 studs. Hey, Ahmed. Ahmed, how's it going? Manu says, what does May the 4th be with you mean? It means May the 4th be with you. It's from Star Wars. And people say it on May the 4th. The 4th of May. You don't know? Hugar? Are you a LEGO Worlds fan? The Ivory Shower? <laughs> no. There you go. You got it. Andy Simpson. Remind me, Andy. I'm sorry. I'm blanking. Your name isn't Andy. Remind me what your name is again. Is it? It's not Andy. You got it. You did it. Wild Styles House. You were the first one to answer it correctly. Your mom, says John Smith. <laughs> uh, not the hotel. Congrats, my friend. Let's give our friend here some, some studs. Cloudbot. All right. Loyalty. Okay, the user, Andy Simpson, but that's not Andy's name. Andy has a different name. Just one. 1,000 studs. So now, you used to have 440 studs. Now you have 1,440 studs. Congrats. Congrats. Granar, Diarna, Grandara. Come on. Come on what now? DSG, why not make Atomic's Infinity Room idea before the stream ends? What's the Infinity Room thing? Uh... Where would we put that, Hugar? You're talking about a room with lights on all sides? Where would we put that? And we really can't. We have to end the stream. Cool Boy Rock says, good job. Yes, good job. Good job. For the bonus question, answering it correctly. You did it. Can't believe it. Well, you did it. Congrats. <laughs> Um, TSG, there's another command trailer that's like open so it has like a door out floor outside. Oh, you're right, there is. What do you call it? What is it called though? The chemistry laboratory? Is that what you're talking about? This is awesome. This is made by, uh, Oh, who made this? Was it Link Remastered? Our friend made that? Um, are you talking? No, that's not the right one. That's cool too, though. 
That could look good here. Um, what is that called? I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's called. We have so many awesome models. Agent's trailer. Well, it doesn't come up under trailer. Hmm. You guys, we'll add that next time. We will add that next time. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad we made so much progress on Area 51. We're gonna make a lot more progress. You guys have made some cool UFOs. You've made some other cool mosaics. We're gonna build some more barns. I'm gonna copy and paste that one. Um, and we're going to have an awesome Area 51. And hopefully we can get it mostly wrapped up in next week's episode. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye guys.